Oh, very short hunt today. Work got in the way. <laughs> That'll never do. Ah. Uh, so this this bit of lane down at the bottom there by the wall, I've been bugging me for oh years and years and years. Ground there, oh dear, terrible, terrible ground. But the dais handled it, no problem at all. But <laughs> I didn't find anything apart from a copper pin. So I thought I'll have a look in this field while I'm at it anyway. Uh, it is not the place to look. But I found uh, a couple of buttons and uh, I just turned up this uh, 1861 half penny. Uh, young Head Victoria, look. Uh, let's see if I can get it. There we go, 1861. It is thin, 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 thin. Breaking apart. It registered 68. 68 on the scale. That, that's very, very low for copper. <laughs> Mind you, I've dug up at least 20 pieces of silver paper in this field, driving me mad. And I expected another one, but there you go. At least I got one penny. Ah, <laughs> one, one half penny. A coin. Hooray! Just on my way home. Get fed up. Got all this multiple signals. 1902. Edward Seventh. <laughs> I thought they were junk. But there may be more there. I'll let you know. Oh, right. A pewter spoon. <laughs> Head of. Uh, it's in this... There's a footpath crosses the gate opening there and there's a path down this way, so... Little congregation here. I'll take this opportunity to uh, show you what I found over the other side of the field there. Um, half a broken knife, look. Oh, <laughs> a bit of a clay pipe, I always like them. Little buttons. Uh, a cotter pin. And what looks like the handle of a very dainty instrument there. Could be a teaspoon. But uh, buttons are not in bad nick. Right, so let's see if there's any more pennies down in this hole. Okie dokie. <laughs> Lack of daylight stop play. I'll be glad when he gets this field cut. Uh, grass is far too long. A moment ago where he's got the cows in and I'm afraid uh, that bunch I was in with over there, they were getting a bit too frisky and one or two were not afraid of me. So you pull out when that happens. Anyway, <laughs> another good hunt. Ah, keep plugging, fellas. Ooh. I only went out because I knew this bit of land, which the um, phew, the mineralisation was terrible. And <laughs> 30, 40 years, I wondered what's under that. Anyway, I went out with the dais and it tackled it, no problem at all. Unfortunately, all I got out of it was a cotton pin. <laughs> but now I am happy now, I know what's going on. And um, so I was in the little field, a couple of, couple of fields away from the house, and there's a, a bit of a knife, a pewter button I found then, and then I found this uh, other button, which has got some writing on the back, but uh, I can't. It's that tiny, I can't read it. Yeah. And then this, which I presume is, is a spoon handle, a very delicate spoon handle I think. And then I, I was just about to give up, you know, uh, walking on the way back and uh, boom, boom. <laughs> I fell over this 1861 uh, half penny. And then on to uh, 1902 uh, Edward Seven penny. And then a, a pewter spoon all together by the gate. And then the last thing I come on was uh, <laughs> this thing, look at the size of it. <laughs> so I thought that was a bronze bottle, buckle. And when I cleaned it, it, it sort of looked, I thought, hmm, maybe it's iron. Uh, can't really tell, but I know something that can tell. 
I've got a magnet here which is the strongest thing going and it it's that strong there's a <laughs> and it, there's a counterfeit iron coin there and it's stuck to me magnet <laughs> I can't get it off that's how powerful it is uh, <laughs> so it's it's not iron nothing in there is iron so uh, in all I've had a good couple of hours <laughs> You know, you can find anything anywhere. So, happy hunting. See you next time. Oh, by the way, I love this days. <laughs>